Good afternoon, almost evening. Welcome to episode number 639. And the topic today is honesty is the best policy for real. And before I jump into that and explain and talk a little bit more, let me introduce myself so you know who I am. Uh, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in life, love, and business. Because, and also, I am a passionate champion for the divine feminine which is what inspired these talks I started over two years ago now, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, or abbreviated to MFTM in my titles, which is now you know what it stands for. Um, and so today I'm up to number episode number 639. And yes, I sound like I had a head cold and I've been going through a back and a cough today, so hopefully this will come through without being interrupted too much. And I'm going to talk about honesty, um, and it's called Honesty is the Best Policy for Real, is because... It's been sitting with me for a while, and I had a conversation last night that reminded me of this, and then I had to be watching uh, Bohemian Rhapsody again today. Uh, uh, sorry again. If you haven't seen the movie yet, go see it. I saw it in the theaters first, then I saw it um, in replay today. And one of the things I saw that came through in the movie, beyond everything else that was amazing about it, but the one thing that kept coming through to me in the movie was how if they were being honest, good things would happen. It was it sounded simplistic to say it that way, but it's what I saw happen with... The storylines of the different characters in the movie, you know, Freddie Mercury's journey, he was following his heart, which is honest, even though he wasn't necessarily being honest to his roots in the beginning. There was an honesty that led him through to a certain path. And the way that Queen played out in the movie, it was always honesty that led them to the highest place. It was always the honesty that brought them to the truth. It was honesty that brought them to connection. And there's a big, the big healing moment later in the movie, right before Live Aid, was because they were being honest with each other. And that really broke down the walls and allowed them to come together again. That's a teaching point. I mean, it's a, you know, it's, it's a biopic and it's a concept biopic, but it's a teaching point as well. And I want to drop that in here because, I had, as I said, I had a conversation last night with a friend of mine, and she shared something with me that I didn't catch the full part of the content. In fact, what she said to me triggered me to go off somewhere in a thought, and she realized that I wasn't listening anymore, and she stopped, thankfully. And she looked at me in a way that got my attention back because I was off track. Now, I'm really good at listening. I'm really good at holding for my clients. But sometimes in casual conversation, I don't always stay present in the way that I can because I'm not on duty sort of thing. That's my excuse, and it's an excuse. But the thing is, when I am in a place where, I should say what happened last night was because what she said, it triggered something inside of me that took me off track. And it totally disconnected me from what we've been talking about. And so her unspoken demand to get my attention back was a really honest thing to do. And actually afterwards I went up and talked to her about it and said I want to be really apologetic in what I didn't stay focused. And I said I want to be honest with you is that I what happened and why, you know, whatever it was. But it was the honesty in what she did towards me and the honesty when I brought it back in the conversation later on that brought us closer. There's actually more there's actually a deeper friendship now because of that conversation. So I'm a passionate, <laughs> not to say passionate champion of the domain feminine, which I am, but I'm also passionate about being honest. And honest is an interesting thing. I remember a training I took years ago now, probably in the 80s, yes, I've been this a long time. They, they broke down honesty from, the, they, they interpreted, I say interpreted, not translated, but they interpreted <laughs> honesty from the Latin, which they said, okay, honesty or honest is own est, which breaks down to what be one with what is. And I always remember that vividly. Now the thing is, whether or not that's true or not, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I didn't never study Latin, so I don't know for sure. But the idea of being one with what is is a pretty good translation of what honesty could, should be. It's to be aligned to what you're speaking from. And the thing is, when people aren't being honest, you can tell they're not aligned to anything except the lie. And I'm going to bring this to relationship in a moment because this is a relationship-centric conversation. I usually bring to these these uh, talks. But in life in general, it's becoming more and more evident to me. And maybe it's just a skill I've learned or it's a challenge I'm facing, is it's hard to align with people or listen to people when they're not being honest. It's actually more challenging now because, one, because I've learned enough stuff and learned enough material. When somebody tells me that something that's, that contradicts that, it's not true, I just can't listen through all the bullshit. In relationship, I know people have done this, and I've fallen for it in the past, where I fell, I fell for lies told to me by somebody to change our relationship status 
And if you're in a relationship with somebody, or you've been in a relationship with somebody who basically created a house of cards, a facade, a bunch of lies, you know the price that gets paid when the truth comes out. And there's an interesting correlate, um, not correlation, interesting contrast, because we talk about, well, it's better to tell white lies than to tell somebody the truth. And I walk on the line of uncertainty about that, because we're telling white lies, which is the idea of telling polite lies to save somebody from some discomfort, pain, upset. Well, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Personally, as brutal as it can be, I really do feel that honesty really is the best policy. That being honest and truthful, because one thing about being honest and truthful is you never have to remember what you said. Because if you lied about something, you've got to remember what you said so you don't remember to, you remember to say it again if you ask for it, if they ask about it. Like that, that lie has to be protected because you've now built a false reality with it. And if somebody asks you something and you forget that lie that you said, they're not going to believe you anymore because you've said something counter to it. So being honest frees you from that pressure and you can actually be more transparent, which I'm very passionate about too. You can be more clear and you actually take care of yourself better. Because when you're carrying on a bunch of lies inside, these little nuts. Hang on a second. <coughs> I was hoping to get through the about coughing, so let's see if I can get finished before I do cough again. Being honest. Oh, it's the white lie piece. Sometimes... And I, uh, the, I walk the white, okay, I'm rewinding in my head what I said, so I'm back up to, okay, walking that fine line, yes, that's what I said, yes. <laughs> if that script is interesting, but it's also very, very honest doing this way too, it's just raw and real. But walking that fine line between white lies and truth, it's in terms of which is better, I personally think the more you can speak the truth and be honest, and, and just one little thing, the truth and honesty aren't always the same thing, by the way, there's a whole other conversation. But when you speak, from a place of honesty. You're more transparent, you're more vulnerable, you're more real. You're also, again, not need to remember anything because you're not having to worry about what did I tell them that I shouldn't have told them and that sort of stuff. But also, you get to be clean inside yourself. And many people I know are carrying around such toxic baggage because of all these knots, that's where I was, thank you. Those knots inside of those lies they were carrying around that has become toxic. And this is the thing. If you keep telling lies in your life to yourself or to others, yes, both places, you're actually t toxifying, toxifying, is that the right word? You're putting more toxins into your system, to be blunt. Now, I'm not going to get home into discussion about what happens in your cellular level, because the bottom line is, the more um, debris and toxins you put in your system, they get stored in your cells, then the more you do that, the less healthy you are. The less healthy, less healthy you are. Now, I'm not talking mentally, I'm talking about physically. Something that I've learned many years ago, and I believe in this wholeheartedly, and a lot of people I know do as well, is that our mental and emotional perspectives reflect in our physical. And there's a way it works, but I'm not getting into that here. But it means that if you hold a negative mental belief and negative emotions, you'll end up neg neg negative phys physical negative physical experiences and expressions. Carrying around lies and falsehoods, you're going to find that they'll start incorporating your body too. You don't want that. My, my encouragement, recommendation, and demand <laughs> is that you really take on, um, I'm going to say this another way. No, I'll say it this way. When you really tr do choose to speak from an honest place and honest in every way you go, you'll transform every single relationship in your life. That means some of them are going to go away, which is a good thing. But you'll actually attract new ones, and the ones that you have already will get cleaner, get deeper, and get more rewarding. Honesty really is its own reward. It really is the best policy. It really is worth having. So if you don't have honesty in your life, here's a good place to start. So I invite you to consider that for yourself as your homework tonight and going forward in life. Where can you bring more honesty in your communication, in your self-expression? Yes, in your self-expression. And also how you relate to yourself as well as other people. A lot of people I know, unfortunately, are still looking in the mirror and lying to themselves. Being honest with yourself is just as much as important as being honest with other people. So, your homework is to be honest. More than you have before, even, if you wish to try that one on. 
I'm going to sign off now because my throat is just about to give out again. Um, I welcome lots of vibes and stuff for my healing because I'm going through the, the dregs of this cold and it's no longer fun. Um, it wasn't fun before, actually, but I'm definitely taking care of myself tonight. And um, if you have any questions or comments about this broadcast, please put them below. And the replays I'll give you quick reminders of. This is my Facebook Live every day, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I had you watching the end of the movie, so I didn't get to start till 5.45 tonight. So, again, Bohemian Rhapsody, great movie, and there's a great teaching point for me in there, which I shared earlier. So, Facebook Live on my personal page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. All my replays on Facebook go to my business page, amongst other places, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. If you want to watch them on YouTube, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. And... You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and listen to them there, or watch them there rather. Um, I invite your questions, comments, and thoughts. And if you want to share where you're choosing to be more honest, I'll be interested to find out. And if you just want to share your intention to be honest, that'd be great too. So if you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. And again, honesty really is the best policy. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Take care.